afternoon, this is Coach Davis with your mini lesson on determining the probability of an, an event as a percent. We have a problem here. Justin has a box of chocolate covered candies. Of the 25 pieces of candy in the box, five are caramel centers, seven are fudge centers, and three are cherry centers. Justin picks one piece of chocolate without looking. What is the probability that he has a cherry center. Express your answer as a percent. So whenever you're working with a question, make sure you read it carefully and focus in on what's being asked. So if I'm looking at my question, it says, what is the probability that he picks a cherry center? And I want to express my answer as a percent. So let's see what information in the problem can help us solve this. And whenever I'm working with probability, I have an equation that I use. The probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So my favorable outcome would be a cherry center. So if I look here, he has three that are cherry centers. That will be my numerator. If I look at my total number of possible outcomes, since there are 25 pieces of candy, there are 25 possible outcomes. So here I have my probability expressed as a fraction. I need to express it as a percent. Anytime I'm talking about percent, it means per 100. So if I can change this denominator so that it has a equivalent denominator of 100, I can write it as a percent. If I think four times 25 equals 100, I can make my equivalent fraction by multiplying 4 times 3, which will give me a total of 12. So I have 12 out of 100, or 12 hundredths. So as a percent, it is 12 percent. This is Coach Davis with your mini lesson on solving probability of a simple event as a percent.